Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn how to create BDD Cucumber tests in Catalon Studio and this is going to be very easy and very interesting. So step number one here is open Catalon Studio and create a new project. So I will go to my Catalon Studio and you can see this is the latest version I am using 6.1.5 as of the time of recording this video. I will go to file new and create a new project and I will name it as a BDD demo and I'll just make it as a generic project and I can save it anywhere and I will just say OK. So this will create a new project on my Catalon Studio and you can see this is created and now to create a BDD project or to create BDD test cases, you will see in your test explorer, there is a folder called include and here you can create feature files for your BDD testing and can also create scripts or step definitions for those feature files. Now if I go to Google and search for BDD feature file, let me show you a very quick example. I will go to images. And here you can see one example of a feature file that we create in BDD. So you can see this is how a feature file will look like. We say what is a feature and a scenario and then we use given when and and then keywords. So this is Gherkin language and the uh, greatest advantage of BDD is we create these scenarios in very human readable format and this can be understood by everyone in the team whether it is a technical person or in a non-technical person and we use the same feature files for our testing both manual as well as automation and therefore everyone has the same uh, feature file or the same source of truth so we do not have uh, chances that uh, there will be some difference in understanding between two different teams or two different people. So this is how a feature file looks like and this is what we are going to create in our Catalon Studio. So here I will go back to my Catalon Studio and here in the features folder inside the include folder I will do a right click and say new and I can create a new folder and then create a feature file or I can directly create a new feature file here and here I will name it for example I will say this is uh, a feature file I want to create for a login scenario I will say login.feature and you can also generate some sample feature template for now I will just keep it blank and say ok and you can see it has created a sample feature file now here it has also created some example but for now I will delete everything so that we can start fresh and here we have to create a feature so I will say feature colon and I will name the feature here and also let me increase the font I am pressing control and plus on my keyboard you can uh, press command and plus if you are on Mac to increase the font yes so here we have to give a feature name and then we have to say what is the scenario so scenario and colon and then we create our scenario by giving the keywords given when and and then so these are the keyword so usually given is the precondition like given I am on the login page when I uh, click when I add username or password and I click on login button then I should be navigated to the home page something like that so let us say uh, this is a feature uh, I will say this is login feature and you can uh, take feature as a scenario and uh, or feature as a test suite and scenario as a test case and here I will say this is test login with valid credentials and here I will say given user navigates to login page when user enters username and password and clicks on login button then user is navigated to 
home page so this is a very simple scenario and also i will write down the steps here step number two here is inside include folder create a feature file so we have done this now if you see in the feature file you will find some warnings here and also this is highlighted in yellow so that means this particular statements do not have a step definition or a glue code as it is called in, in cucumber or they are not backed up by any scripting or coding so if you see here and see the warning it says user navigates to login page does not have a matching glue code so we also need to provide a code for this particular statements and once we have that all these warnings will go away so here you can also do a right click and say recalculate steps and it should uh, show you the steps it will uh, take uh, take away this warnings in case we have the steps but as of now we do not have so for that let us create script so i will go inside the scripts folder we have a groovy folder here and then here we have a default package so i will do a right click on the default package and say new and create a step definition so this is step number three we have to create step definition for the feature file for our scenario in the feature file we have to create a step definition and i will just say this is login steps and it also can generate some sample at given when then steps and i will just keep it on in the default package and say okay and you can see it has come here i can collapse the import statements and you can see here this is the step definition so you can see we can give this annotation at given and whatever is our statement and then we can write a function and whatever function we write that will be executed on that particular statement so for now i will just clear all this so that i can show you from scratch and so it has created a very simple class by the same name login steps and here now i can create function so i can say def so in groovy we create functions by the def keyword and say uh, navigate to login page and brackets and curly brackets start and stop and here i can write any code so for now just for the demo i'm just writing println to print something on the console and i will say i am inside this particular function which is navigate to login page i will say backslash n to print it in a new line and that's it now I have just created a simple function I have not yet uh, glued it to this particular given statement and for that I have to actually give a annotation that comes from cucumber so I will say at given and if I press control spacebar on my keyboard it should get auto completed or I am getting auto suggestion and I should be taking it from this cucumber.api.java.en so I will select this and in the brackets in quotes i will give the same statement which i have given in the feature file for the given keyword so that now it will be glued to this particular statement and i will save this and now if i go to my login feature file and save and i will do a right click and say recalculate steps you can see now the warning is gone for the given statement because it has a matching glue code also if i go here click to in this given statement do a right click and say find step it is taking me to the step here so the, like this you can also check the matching steps and also check if all the statements have a glue code similarly i will write other functions so i will say def and i will say enter credentials and i will also show you a running example for this as of now i'm just creating some dummy statements so i will show you in a moment a running example on chrome browser and here i will say println 
backslash n I am inside enter credentials and this is this will get the annotation at when and inside the brackets I will put the statement user enters username and password I will copy this and paste it here and save this similarly I will create the next function def click on login or click login and here I will just print I am inside click login and this will get the annotation and and this statement click on login button so I will say here and and in quotes I will copy and paste the statement click on login button and then the next function is verify home page and here I will say println I am inside home page and here the rotation will be then and in the quotes I will put this user is navigated to home page I will copy this from here and paste it here and I will save everything so I will save everything and go back to my feature file and now I will do a right click and say recalculate steps and you can see all the warnings are gone also I will again do a right click and say pretty format and it will do the indentation and now this is my scenario so now I can run this feature file I can directly say right click and run as cucumber feature or I can also run it from here the run button I will run this and let us see the output so if I go to the log viewer this should run the feature file and give us the logs so here let me go to the console and check yes we are getting the logs now it is done and if I go to the console here you can see it is printing all our statements I am inside navigate to login page I am inside enter credentials I am inside click login I am inside home page and everything is working fine and everything is passed now I can also parameterize some data here for example username and password I want to test with multiple values so I can give this in a inside these conical brackets like this and here I will say examples and here I can give the data for example so one more thing if you are using this parameterization and if you are using the data like this we have to say this is a scenario outline and not just scenario and now let me also say pretty format uh, there is some error let me just check okay there's a this is spelling is wrong this is examples yes this is now right and here uh, I will give this pipe symbol and give the data header which is username and this is password this should be same as here and then again a pipe symbol and then I can keep on adding my data so for example I will say this is ABC and the password I will say is one two three and again I will say DEF and I will say four five six so you can give your values here and again a pipe symbol and that's it and I will save this now you can also see now it is saying that this particular statement does not have a glue code because now it is not matching with 
our earlier statement that we have given here. So now what I will do is instead of username and password, I can also use regular expressions. So I can say in brackets dot star. That means this is now a regular expression and dot star means it can accept any characters here. Similarly for password also I will say dot star and you can learn about regular expressions just in case you are new to it. So uh, reg exr there is this website. Yes, there is this website. So here you can uh, check your regular expressions. You can put your text here. For example, I can say this is a demo. And here you can create your regular expression. So if I say this is a demo, it is matching everything. And if I say uh, dot star here, still it is matching everything. So you can see it is matching and you can just check your regular expressions here. So now here I have added this. If I go back to my feature file and I will say recalculate steps. So here, let me just check again. Uh, user enters this and this. Let me also take this in the function, which is username and password. Both should be of type string. So I'm saying string username and comma string password. And I can also now print username and password. I will say print ln username is this. This value will get printed here and then I will also print password and I will print whatever value comes in this function here and I will save this and I will go back to my login dot feature file and say recalculate steps and everything is now fine there are no warnings so you can see when this will run this statement it will first take the first data which is abc and 123 for username and password and then pass it on to here username and password and it will come to our function then in the next iteration it will take def and 456 which will again get passed to our function and it will be printed here so now let me also check the steps uh, step number four will be run a run feature file and then step number five is add data in examples section and step number six is again run feature file so now i will go and run the feature file again to check if it is able to get the data properly so this is working if i go to console now you can see here it has executed the feature two times uh, with two data sets so the first time it executed with abc and one two three and the second time it executed with def and four five six so now this is working fine now until now we have been doing uh, some uh, we have added some demo code some sample code and it is not exactly doing a login test. So let us now try to create a proper login test and add it to our feature and login steps step definition. So I will go to my test case and here I will do a right click and say new test case and I will name it anything. I will say this is login test and say OK. So I'm going to quickly record a login test so that I can use the statements and copy them in my step definition. So I will click on this record web and this will open the web recorder window. And yes, it is here. And I'm going to go to this website for demo, which is orange HRM. And I will also copy the link and make it available in the notes. So this is the next step. Step seven. Create a login test. 
and this is just for demo and this is the URL I am using so this is our demo website so here I will do a login you can also see we have this username and password given here so I will go to my Catalon Studio web recorder and give this URL and start recording on a Chrome browser so here it opened a Chrome browser and I will navigate to the URL and you can see it is recording all the actions and I will add the username admin password admin123 and click on login and just to verify I am on home page I will just click on any of the elements here let us say dashboard and that's it all the samples and steps are recorded and I will stop the recording and save it I will say ok and here again I will add all the objects I will say ok and everything is now recorded now just for verification instead of clicking on the dashboard after login I will use the keyword here verify element present and I am verifying the element dashboard and the timeout is I will keep 5 seconds and that's it and save this and if I now go to the script view you can see we have got the scripts here I will also run this just to verify everything is fine so I will run on a chrome browser and check if the test is running fine so it logs in and yes everything is fine so now I can get these statements I have I'm on the script view I will just get the statements and put it in my feature step definition so here this is for navigate to the login page I will copy this from here go to my steps login steps dot groovy and here in this navigate to login page I will put this and then we have add credentials so I will again go and copy the username and password uh, these statements that is adding username and password and I will again copy it go to my step definition and I will just add it here in the function now here you can see it is as of now hard coded username and password but we need to get it from here we need to get this username and this password so for that I will go to my login dot feature and here I will say this is admin and the password I will just copy so you can see it is not admin123 what we entered it is encrypted text because we are using the keyword here set encrypted test text so you can also encrypt your text by going to help and say encrypt text and if you give any text for example our password was admin123 and this is the encrypted value so you can also copy it from here and then I will add it here in the password field and let us keep the other one as it is so that it will fail and here in the function instead of hard coding this admin will come from the variable username which is this and then the password will come here in, in place of the password and that's it and then the next is click on login button so I will again go and copy the statement to click on login button and I will again add it here and then finally to verify the user is on home page we have to use this to check the dashboard element and I will also close the browser in this step so I will go here and add these two statements so this is fine now I can save this and I will again go to my login dot feature and I will now run this on a Chrome browser so let us now see the output so there was some error let me see uh, unable to navigate uh, let me check here it is not 
starting up so i think we also have to add the open browser statement here in the login steps we have directly used webui.navigate to url uh, we have not used the open browser i will also copy this and add it here so that it opens the browser and then navigates and now i will run it again on a chrome browser so it is running opens a chrome browser logs in this is the first iteration and this is fine and the second iteration which uses def and one uh, 456 as password and it says password cannot be empty so it fails so this has this is working fine step number eight is add the scripts in step definition and step number nine is run feature file so this is running fine and you can see we have got a error because the second iteration was uh, it failed the login because of the wrong credentials so you can see this is how you can create a feature file and the step definition now until now we have not uh, added it to a test case so you can also add this feature to a test case so that it can be run from a test case so you can create a new test case or also use any existing test case so i will say this is run feature file test this is run feature file and i'll say okay and here if you go to your keywords browser here in the left pane you will find a keywords browser you will see built-in keywords and inside built-in keywords we have cucumber keywords and here in the cucumber keywords we have keywords like run feature file run feature folder and or run with cucumber runner so you can use these keywords here i can drag and drop it here so i will just drag and drop it to my test case you can also add it from here so you can just click on this add drop down then say cucumber keywords and in this drop down we will find all the cucumber keywords and then you can use the keyword here now when you say run feature file as an input you have to give the location of the feature file so for that you can just go to your feature file and do a right click and say copy id so basically you have to give the relative location from this project so i will say copy id and here in the value i will paste it so this is inside include folder features folder and the feature file name is login dot feature and i will say okay so for now i'll disable this step the second step i'm just running a feature file and i will test it i will run it on a chrome browser and let us see if it runs our feature file and yes looks like it is running the feature file so this is the first iteration and then the second iteration which will fail and this is running fine so for now let me go back to my feature file and i will remove this second data so that i do not see failure every time and that's it i will save this and this is running fine now you can also run the entire folder for example if you have a folder like we have a features folder here and you have multiple feature files you can also run that so for that you can use the keyword run feature folder like we have used here i will enable this and let me disable the first one so now we are using run feature folder and here we have to give the location of the folder so for example this is my folder i will do a right click and say copy id and then go to this input column and copy the relative path of the folder and then say ok and save and run so this will run all the features in that folder in our case as of now we have a single feature so it will run that and let us see yes so this time it is running on a firefox because that was a default browser and it is running fine and now uh, there is another keyword if you see here run with cucumber runner this is something i will show you in the next video how you can run with cucumber runner so you can run with some cucumber options and i will show you in the next video for now we have a test case now i can add this test case to a test suite so if i go to a test suite and i create new test suite test suite one and i will add 
I will just add the test case and I will save and now I can run it from the test suite so uh, the advantage of running from test suite or test suite collection is that now you will also get reports generated and you can see this is running fine and you can also now run it from command line so from the if you can go to the build cmd you can browse your test suite and then you can run it also you will see reports getting generated so if i go to the reports folder you can see for test suite we have this report generated this is the summary execution settings and if i go to show test case details you can see this is the feature file and you can also see all the details here so you can see all the details of the feature navigate to browser and all these things and if i go to this location of this report i will do a right click and say open containing folder and this is the folder and you can see we have got all this html csv reports now with the latest version uh, with version 6.1.5 uh, to get all the reports you also need to add a basic reports plugin that i will tell you uh, in a separate video so you can see all this is here so basically if you go to the catalon website and here if you go to so you will find a section for plugins if you go to plugins here you will see all the plugins for catalon studio and here you will see a basic reports plugin so this is the plugin that we need to add from starting from version 6.1.5 to get the report so you can see this is a custom keyword that replaces the current report feature of catalon since version 6.1.5 i will have a separate video on this so do not worry and if i go back to my catalon studio and you can see here we are able to run everything and we are able to create bdd tests so here step number 10 is uh, i can say run feature file from test case and test suite so that you can now run from command line and also get the reports and this is how you can create bdd cucumber tests in catalon studio i hope this session was useful for you Thank you for watching.